hi guys today we will make this raise in under five minutes this is a quick tutorial so let's start this so let's start this so i have this empty material and let's make this unlit and additive and maybe two sided you can make and then i'll take a texture coordinate press u and left mouse button and then what i'll do uh i, I want this thing in the center so i will just multiply it by two and then subtract one and it will be there then I will just mask out this thing, red channel. And if I preview, this is how it looks. Then you can use absolute. So the negative value also will be turned positive. And then you have this. So you can use this tap. And if I use this tap and with like 0.5, this is a, a strip. And you can increase the width of this or decrease it. So basically, if I use a gradient in that, a vertical gradient a green channel of this and feed it here it will be like this okay and i want this thing in here and this wide area on the top so i will invert my gradient and then if you want this cone little wider so you can use a lerp for this gradient and zero and one is already there but you can now put some values like 0.2 so it will widen and that this area you can reduce this if you want so this is what we have and then you can again multiply it with that gradient which is uh, black to white i will multiply so you will have this cool gradient but if you want it, still uh, uh, if you don't like this you can use a divide and use this inverted value here and then divide it very less value so it will give you a very cool gradient you can multiply it with this and this is cutting through edge so you can now multiply it again with this normal gradient and you will have very cool ray effect and then i'll just take the particle color connect this here and multiply this in the opacity and that's it just hit save now inside my niagara i have a fountain emitter okay so what i'll do basically i don't need any of velocity I need a sphere although sphere location and in the sphere location let's make it 100 and also I just want on the surface and then I'll use this material here the raise material okay then I will uh, I don't want mass and I want to stretch this let's say non-uniform 50 and 100 so this is how it looks then you can do you can use velocity aligned and then add some velocity and add a point velocity very little so they will all align like this and you can also shift the pivot like this so these are the cool rays you have you can randomize the color of course if you want like you have this oranges then you can go here and randomize a little bit okay now you want something in the center whether a sphere or a radial sprite so let's take a sphere and for the sphere i'll make a color a basic material so i'll just take the particle color and connect this here and i want it unlit that's it i'll save it and now here in the niagara i will duplicate this and in this one i'll delete this take a spawn burst and spawn it once and make the life infinite i don't need all these things and instead of this sprite i want a mesh i'll take the sphere I'll take the sphere and I'll use this color here. And I want it to turn black. And I guess the pivot of this sphere is shifted. It is in center. So I don't need actually this sphere. And that's it. Now you can change the size of your sphere. And you have it. Cool. That's cool. So that's it.